The problem with both add alpha and add one smoothing is in both cases, we still end up adding something to uh, the, the numerator and adding something to the denominator. So even with add alpha smoothing, where you can be more subtle, it can still screw up your counts um, quite badly. The other interesting thing is that we're treating all n-grams the same, irrespective of how often they occur. And what I mean with that is, whether your n-gram occurs, whether this thing occurs a million times, or whether it uh, only occurs once, you're adding a 1 to the numerator and, um, you know, adding a plus um, vocabulary size to the denominator, irrespective of how often that specific n-gram occurs. And so this actually might still be a little bit too blunt. And the question is, can we do something um, more sensible? Where, for instance, we just steal from the rich explicitly, gather the mass that we've, we've stolen from the rich, and then spread that out evenly um, to, to the poor. And in that way, that would mean that I treat um, n-grams that occur zero times, I treat them completely differently from the way that I treat n-grams that occur more often. Okay. And this is, this is what's called um, absolute discounting. So literally what you're going to do is you're going to say, um, if an n-gram occurs more than zero times, in other words, once or more, then I'm going to steal some of its count. I'm actually going to take away a small value of its count. Okay? I'm going to steal some of it. Okay? And then to get the n-gram probability, I'm just going to divide by the count of the preceding word again. This is again a bigram example. And this will then be my, um, my, my estimate for the bigram probability. So for anything that occurs more than once, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to steal a small value okay, um, between 0 and 1. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to gather up all the mass... I'm going to collect them all up, and for everything that occurs zero times exactly, I'm just going to give the same mass, P0, okay, which I got from stealing these things. Now, this P0 is actually a little bit tricky to figure out. How do you figure it out? Probabilities need to sum to 1. Okay? So there's an equation that, that you can look up in Jarofsky and Martin that tells you what P0 is and, and that it's a function of... Um, this discounting factor D. So this is much closer to this little intuition that I gave at the start. What we're doing is we're stealing a little bit of the counts from allegations, the counts from speculations, the counts from rumors, the uh, counts from report. We add up all these red regions. We get them all into one um, bowl of red region. And then we divide that new mass that we have. We spread that out over all the words that occurred. Um, zero times. Okay, and that's the idea be behind absolute discounting. I think the one last thing that I want to say about absolute discounting is that you can do something a little bit more complicated. So here what we've done is we've basically said, well, if the count of a bigram is larger than zero, then subtract D, okay? And if it's, uh, if it's zero, then use P0. But what you can do is you can make D a function of how often this um, specific bigram occurs. So let me state this intuitively. Maybe we want a, a case where we steal more from something that occurs a million times than we steal from something that occurs five times here. Okay? And the way that you can do that is you can make D a function of the count. Okay? For instance, D can maybe scale linearly with the count so that you um, steal more when the count is much, much higher and then you would distribute that down. The math then gets extra hairy for figuring out how much mass I have to then spread out um, over the rest, but you can do that. I should say in practice, normally you just have D and you just fiddle with this hyperparameter and, and, and that's what people um, do in practice rather than making it um, count specific.